go. It is the Blizzard Lizard. It is a Freaky Friday, and it is Wello and Hellcome to what is first one of these in a while. Been having my <clears throat> coughing session, which kind of sucked because couldn't do much uh, in the way of talking. I actually lost my voice for a bit. Some people would say, thank God he lost his voice. Oh, shit, it's back. Yes, it's back, and I am back, and everything's back. Back to the way it should be. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, no, not hello. Uh, oh, that, that worked. <laughs> that worked. That's freaky. Okay, uh, we're doing a something. Let's recap on where we actually were. Well, some gold here. Can we get this again? Because I had to do something. Hello. No. Okay. Uh, find under the fat goose inn's missing sign. Ooh, we're looking for a sign. A sign of what? A sign that things are going to be alright? A sign that we are... Uh, I don't know. We're looking for a sign. A sign. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, bye -bye. Yes, that's fine. That's a fine sign. Okay. Okay, so we've searched everywhere, I think. Almost everywhere. Rotten stump. There's nothing there. Okay, there's a chest. The chesticles. That reminds me of a... Um, oh, bloody hell. Close. It reminds me of a... What's the guy's name? Eminem Song. Which was great. Way back. And I haven't listened to Eminem for absolute ages. Oh. The white boy rapper. <laughs> My daughter, actually, a funny story. My Three-year-old, four-year-old daughter actually this morning got very upset. She was watching my latest Sarfield <laughs> uh, video, and her mother told her to go do her hair, and she freaked out. It's like I haven't watched the whole episode. I want to watch the damn episode. Well, she didn't say that, but she was really upset. I want to watch the episode. So I promised her I'll put it on for her on her side when she gets back, and that actually fills me with so much joy. The fact that somebody appreciates it. Oh, crap. <clears throat> I forgot to offload all this shite. Ah, okay. Tea bag. <laughs> oh, loony. The loony bin. That's my router over there. That's how I can... Um, do I have... Do I have... There it is. I want to go there. I want to go to me stash. I want to go stash some stuff out of, this, out of the way. And then I can do the other things. Uh, break stuff by or sell them or do something. Um, and I can go in there. I, I don't know why I'm putting so many things in there. <laughs> Most of these things I'm never going to use in my life, but blame blame, not Stark, why the hell do I want to say blame Starcraft? Blame um, Diablo 2. It taught me to hmm that is interesting. I think I'm going to replace this one. It taught me to hoard. 
I am going to replace that one. Yes! That is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm, that, that's, that's it. Now, let's go break. I've got everything else that I should have. Cool. Let's go break stuff apart. Why? That's one thing I don't understand. Is it because of normal difficulty or something? Why is... There's no common, all magic things, yes. All rare things, yes. Um, why is nothing taking damage? Uh, repair. There's literally nothing that requires repair. What's this? Uh, huh. So, it, I don't understand that. I really don't. No, I can do that. Oh yeah. Cost me 30,000 bucks to do that. Was it worth it though? I have no idea. I forgot to, oh my god, I need to really focus. Ow. Hang on. I need to do something. Haha. <laughs> Oh, that actually made my background quite dark. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Let's get some light on this puppy. For some reason... Um, oh, I missed that. <laughs> oh, well. Can't win them all. My cooler is quite hot. Um, I turned the actual I turned down the fan speed because why have it spin at a high rate of knots when it is not really doing much but that seems to okay that's actually quite a big spread of things that we need to do uh, it seems like it has made it quite too I don't turn it up too much That actually feels much better. The weird and the wacky, the things you do for cooling. So it's air, it was air cooled. Actually, I have a beautiful Noctua cooler right behind me. One sec. Glorious Noctua cooler. This is turning into a tech show instead of a game show. Um, but yeah, this thing is bloody heavy. Put you down over there. It, it used to do the job, but... Yeah. I don't know why I actually went... <laughs> why I went with it, because it wasn't necessary. Um, I think the only justifiable reason was because it was cheap. It really, really was so cheap to go. Um, it cost me 70 bucks to uh, to go for this water cooler, which is magnificent by the way. It's a something, I can't remember what I got in. Oh, it's a thermal right, not 360 black. I've got the box next to me. I, I literally just put it in very recently. Absolutely stunning. I'm uber impressed with it. Like, really, it's wonderful. It keeps everything toasty. I dropped my temperatures by 20%. Um, no, I'm lying. Not 20%, 20 degrees. I think that's to do with the new thermal pressure as well. Uh, because I'd be very surprised if that was just purely... Um, you know, related to just the cooler, that would be one hell of a boost. Uh, one. There we go. We got the Skelele Bones back. Skelele Bones. <laughs> maybe I should call the. Uh, maybe I should call today's video Skelele Bones. <laughs> oh, it's good to be human. It's good to feel human. 
I haven't felt... I've been having some issues personally and uh, it's just good to feel normal. Isn't it? Feeling normal is fun. What the hell? Okay, uh, so I looked at your place you sleep and uh, is not compliant. You need you need to get a roof. You need to get a roof. It is is important for the rain. Why not pick up pants? I don't want pants. It's not like I'm wearing any. Am I? I'm not showing you. Ain't no way in hell I'm standing up. Oh, double entendres. I didn't make, I didn't say one, but I was thinking it. Ping pong, ding dong. Anyway, um, I missed the Saunders and his double entendres. <laughs> Wait. Boy. Okay, where are we off to? Ooh, grizzly. It's a grizzly bear. We need to slice it. Okay, uh, so I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, I lost a lot of followers. That's not fun. Hey, hey, get back here. All the skeletons are belong to me. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Before it lays eggs. Oh man, I remember way years ago, like God, I'm talking near ten years ago. Wow, I'm getting old. Um that was the that was the saying. That was really just the saying that we all had. Um Kill it before it lays eggs. Um yeah. I'm gonna try and save one of those guys. I don't know if it's possible. It would be nice if we could save one of the people from being just chopped up by a mad minotaur thing. If it's a minotaur. I don't even know if it is a minotaur. I don't care. Oh, I found Lilith. Come on. I want to, I want to do that. I, uh, intelligence has increased by two. I would say not. Um... Here's a question. What is intelligence? What is... What do we perceive as intelligence? Is intelligence... I can do math? Is intelligence... I can climb trees? Is intelligence... I can hunt my own food? Intelligence all of those things. It's different kinds of intelligence. You know... Somebody might not be great at math, but... They're a superb shot and they can you know hunt animals with a bow and arrow or whatever they can they can do their thing which other people you know the, the mathematician might not be able to do or would most likely not be able to do so the question is what is intelligence because people seem to think IQ. You need to have a math IQ of 10 million billion trillion to do anything. It just isn't the case. Look, I'm good at math. Mostly. Um, oh, you, <laughs> I love that joke. I used to be good at math until it started having an affair with the alphabet. Then it just became difficult. Speaking of math, the amount of people who argue about Bodmas and Pedmas, depending on where you are in the world and what your flavor of language is, is shocking. Like, legitimately, it is shocking. People would go to insane le How do I mark something? Okay, now I want to see. How do I mark something as... Jump. I don't have any aspects. Consumables. 
I've got keys. I've got whispering keys. How do I mark... Oh. That. Fuck. What did I just do? Okay. That's junk, 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 junk. Lots of junk. Don't touch my junk. I'm actually interested in this. This is more interesting than an iPhone. And I don't care who says what. iPhones are boring. Debilitating me so. I mean, I did an update on my iPhone 13. And I did another one. And I did another one. Because they apparently have crappy updates that require fixes every five minutes. And it was just nothing. Nothing interesting. Much like running through here. Oh, finally an enemy. But yeah, this... This game sort of reminds me of... of iPhone. In the sense that it is exceptionally repetitive, number one. Number two, there's not much going on that's different or new or novel. Everything is just the same. And I, there's a big love-hate relationship. Sometimes it's nice, and it's a novel little toy. But there's not enough to say, hey, this is going to be my main driver. Same with this. This is not something I'm going to go to and say, oh my god, this is absolutely the, the best thing in the world. It's not. It is genuinely not the best game ever made. It's good. Look, it's not shit. It's not complete and utter garbage. But it's not something I'm going to want to spend the rest of my life playing. This isn't Diablo 2. It's not got that um, that awesomeness about it. And that's sad, because the other two... Oh man, that is just the best game. Second only really to StarCraft. As a franchise. That has ever been released. I remember. On a very, 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 very old PC. Playing StarCraft. One. Brute Wars. And <laughs> I'd start a match for, or eight player match, free for all. And it would take me easily from the morning, uh, no, no, not morning, from the evening, say, nine o'clock ish, to the morning, five o'clock, because at some point this thing becomes so incredibly slow because. It's old. I never thought I'd see a game lag that much. An old game lag that much. But I remember it vividly. Because it's just impossible not to. Oh, excuse me. Where I would... Um, <laughs> I would play that game. And it would take a absolute eternity to kill anything. For the simple reason, because, oh my god, um, ah, oh, this is not gonna happen, these things explode too easily, and my army is not doing anything, we're just getting XP right now, not, not doing anything else, at all, um, Anyway, what I was saying about StarCraft is, I remember playing it, it took absolute ages to get anything built. It was literally down, I think, I didn't know anything about FPS back then, I was oblivious to everything. I really only, actually, the reason I got interested in computers and 
especially hardware. My dad bought a computer shop that went out of business, bought everything they had. So effectively, he just went and said, okay, all your stock, good, give it to me. Here's some money, done. And with that came a insane heap of PC format magazines. And I mean, like, a whole bunch of them. I was in heaven. I honestly thought it was heaven. I sat there, I read each and every one of them. I remember looking at those motherboards and thinking, oh, I'm gonna need some alone time for this. This is gorgeous. And that was it. That, that got me hooked. PC format back in the good old days. It was just something else. Motherboards with those extravagantly designed heat sinks from Asus. Or, again from Asus, those mad copper heat sinks. And the 10 million uh, SATA ports on an ASRock Extreme 11, which I had. Oh, I oh, have the Extreme. I have the Extreme 11 or the Extreme 9. I don't know, but I had. I had so many ports. So many SATA ports. I think I had like 10 or 12. Oh, that was a board and a half, man. I had a 4790K overclocked it. Oh, man, that was great. I actually sold that CPU for more than I purchased it <laughs> three years later. That was a value CPU. Bought it new, used it, overclocked it, gained the hell out of it, and still managed to make it. Uh, bank on. It was it was honestly I think the best CPU for ages. You didn't you did not need to upgrade if you had that until at least ninth gen. But I would say even then I kept it till tenth gen because it just wasn't necessary to upgrade. It was that good. Nowadays, the 10th gen is actually to a degree better than the latest ones in real terms, not synthetic terms. Um, which is a shock to the system. If you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have more cores and more shit, like, yeah, but um, it's not necessarily faster in real terms. Again, not synthetic benchmark terms, but real terms. Oh, can anyone tell that I'm a massive, massive nerd for hardware? Honestly, that's the one thing. I You can software, you can game as much as you want, but the underlying physical component of computers is just so good. Here got a motherboard right over there. I've got GPUs all around here. One, two. There's two over there. Three over there, actually. Just standing here. I've got multiple computers. I've got an old Dell machine here from the good old days. I've actually got an old Gigabyte case over there as well. It's still in a box. It's not new, but it's in a box because I haven't unpacked, unpacked it at all in three years. Um, the reason though is I admire this technology. I admire these marvels that we had. Yeah, I've got a couple of Q95, Q9550s I believe, what, what are they called? I think it's q 9550 something like that. Wonderful, wonderful CPUs for that time. And until Sandy Bridge came, they were the de facto great CPU. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I, I get talking about tech because if I don't, 
talk about something. Oh, Rugby World I can talk about the Rugby World Cup. Ha ha ha! That's still on. Um, Ireland is playing Scotland this weekend, which is going to be an interesting one. It's going to decide who goes through and who tops the table. Um, so that's going to be a very, very... It's a very important match. Very, very important match for Pool A. It's also a very important match for the Irish because they actually have an opportunity to go through. They also have an opportunity to fall out of the World Cup, which is unlikely. I will be very honest there. It's very unlikely that uh, Ireland will not go through. Uh, if Scotland does beat them, it will be incredibly, incredibly uh, shocking to anybody who follows rugby. It, it would be a major, major shock to the system. It's not expected that Scotland's going to put up a... It, they might put up a fight, not necessarily a big one, but a fight nonetheless. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. If it goes well for Scotland, it uh, could break the Irish hearts again. Um, you know, it might count for naught that they beat South Africa. That is that is a very 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 big match. That that has much implications for World Rugby. If the number ones go out at the group stage, that would be shocking. Always as shocking as. Australia just completely going to pieces at this World Cup and that, wow, I mean, that's just something else. But hey, you know, some, everybody's got to fall to something. It, it's not a case of, oh, thank you. <laughs> Two different concepts here. Oh, don't do that to me. This is taking forever. I need to get a weapon that does more damage because this is getting so annoying. I'm not doing nearly enough damage. Not at all. You do a lot more. Oh, this is so boring. This is the problem. It's absolutely the problem that I have. It's nothing, just nothing is interesting. Everything is just repetitive, 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 and... No. Throw out, throw out. Throw out, throw out. Don't need normal things. Way beyond caring about that. Although, don't... Would they give me something special? Remembering the goose, what the hell? Oh, I need to destroy another construct. I need to run in three minutes. Mm. God, I love this ability. It's so stupendously powerful. I go boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Just can zap the shit out of them. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, can I get them up? Ooh. Yes, that is that is king power, baby. Come on, come on. Oh no! That would have been amazing. Aww. That would have been so cool. If I just, like, zapped in here. Wham, bam, everything's dead, ma'am. <sighs> okay. The hell are you going, Banshee? The Banshee of Ennis Keren. Not a real place, but real book. Oh, good. Um, it's about to be a real. Well, it is a real movie, is it? It seems to be becoming a real movie. It is a real movie. Don't know. Don't care. Don't watch movies. I don't. I. I haven't watched a movie in absolute ages. I just don't find it interesting anymore at all. I have to go here. It's too long. 
My concentration levels will never allow me to watch a movie. I hardly make it through an episode of a series <laughs> these days. Okay, two more. Come on, bastard. We will kill you. You have no choice but to die. That actually looks like something out of uh, Warhammer. Uh, why do you keep cursing me so I can't hit you? Where are you? Oh, here you are. This is going to take time. Ow. Can't do much. I'm stuck. I got my finger on the cube. I got my finger on the cube. I got my finger on the cube. I'm a pressing that cube if I need it for help. That is the stupidest little jingle that I've ever heard. But it's a jingle, okay? I think we're gonna make. I should make a Diablo 4 song. I think I'm gonna do that. The Diablo 4 health song. Oh, yeah. I'm done for the day. It was a wacky. No, it's a freaky Friday. It's a fantastic Friday. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Follow for more. Comment. I've got somebody that's giving me a good bunch of tips. He's commenting. He's, he's engaging me. I love it. Thank you for being there, buddy. Everybody else, join. It's fun. I'll, I'll talk about weirdest random tech shit in the world. Well, I bore you and myself to death with Diablo 4. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go. It was fun boring you. <laughs>